Ever wondered what are the top 10 places to see in Vatican? In this video, we'll be embarking on a journey to count down the top 10 must-see sites in the Vatican. This city-state, encapsulated within Rome, Italy, serves not only as the spiritual headquarters for the Roman Catholic Church, but also as a treasure trove of art, history, and culture. From awe-inspiring architecture to hallowed halls filled with centuries-old knowledge, the Vatican is a world within a world. So let's explore the Vatican and uncover its hidden gems. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the Vatican Necropolis. Nestled beneath the Grand St. Peter's Basilica, this Roman cemetery whispers tales of a bygone era. The Vatican Necropolis is a silent testament to Rome's storied past, a place where the living can commune with the spirits of antiquity. This hallowed ground offers a unique window into ancient Roman life. Here, beneath the heart of Catholicism, the everyday Romans of yesteryears found their final resting place. From wealthy merchants to humble artisans, each tomb tells its own tale, each inscription a personal epitaph to a life once lived. But the necropolis isn't just a graveyard, it's a treasure trove of Roman history and culture. The ornate mausoleums, the intricate carvings and the poignant inscriptions paint a vivid picture of Roman society, its beliefs and its customs. Truly a trip to the past, the Vatican necropolis is a place of peace and history. At number 9 we have the Vatican Gardens. This verdant sanctuary, nestled within the heart of Rome, is a testament to the beauty and tranquility of nature. It's a place where time seems to stand still. The bustling city fades into the background and you're left with nothing but the gentle rustling of leaves and the soft murmur of fountains. The Vatican Gardens are famed for their lush landscapes, a vibrant palette of colors that change with the seasons. They're adorned with a myriad of sculptures, each one a testament to the artistic prowess of the craftsmen of yesteryears. Fountains, some dating back centuries, add a touch of majesty to the scenery, their waters shimmering under the Italian sun. But perhaps the most significant aspect of these gardens is their role as a place of contemplation for popes over the centuries. It's here that they've sought respite from their duties, finding solace in the serene surroundings. The Vatican Gardens, a green oasis in the heart of the city, is a must-visit for nature lovers. Coming in at number 8 is the Vatican Library. Now this isn't just any ordinary library, this is a sanctuary for knowledge and history, home to a staggering collection of historical texts, manuscripts, and books that have been meticulously gathered over centuries. Imagine walls lined with ancient tomes, some dating back to the time of the Roman Empire, others bearing the wisdom of the Renaissance period. These are not just books, they are time capsules, each holding a unique story from a different era. The Vatican Library is a revered institution among scholars worldwide. Its vast collection serves as a critical resource for those seeking to understand our past, providing them with invaluable insights into the world's cultural and religious history. The library's stunning architecture is equally breathtaking. With its frescoed ceilings and intricate designs, it's a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of the period in which it was built. For book lovers and scholars alike, the Vatican Library is a treasure trove of knowledge. Number seven on our list is the Raphael Rooms. Four halls of exquisite beauty, these rooms are famously known for their frescoes painted by the master himself, Raphael, and his talented apprentices. Commissioned by Pope Julius II, the Raphael Room served as the pontiff's private quarters and are a significant part of the Vatican Museums today. Each room is a canvas that tells a story, a testament to the artistic prowess of the High Renaissance. The School of Athens, the Parnassus, and the Fire in the Borgo are just a few of the masterpieces that adorn these rooms. These frescoes not only demonstrate Raphael's exceptional skill as a painter, but also his deep understanding of philosophy, theology, and the human condition. The Raphael rooms are more than just a collection of paintings. They are a celebration of human genius, a journey through time, and a reflection of the profound impact of art on society. The Raphael rooms, a testament to the genius of Raphael, are a feast for the eyes. At number six, we find the world-renowned Sistine Chapel. 
This iconic chapel is not just a place of worship, but a treasure trove of art and history. The Sistine Chapel's significance extends far beyond its walls, largely due to its breathtaking ceiling, painted by the master artist Michelangelo. This extraordinary work of art took four years to complete and is considered one of the greatest artistic feats ever accomplished. But the Sistine Chapel is not just about art. It's a place of significant religious importance. This is where the conclave of cardinals gather to elect a new pope, making decisions that shape the course of Catholicism and, in many ways, the world. The frescoes, the history, the solemnity, and the sheer beauty of the Sistine Chapel make it more than just a chapel. It's a testament to human creativity, faith, and perseverance. The Sistine Chapel, a masterpiece of Renaissance art, is an experience like no other. Number five on our countdown is the iconic St. Peter's Square. This monumental piazza has been a beacon of faith for centuries, welcoming the faithful from every corner of the globe. Designed by the remarkable Gian Lorenzo Bernini in the 17th century, the square boasts a stunning elliptical shape symbolizing the embracing arms of the church. At the heart of the square stands the renowned Egyptian obelisk. Towering at a staggering 85 feet, this ancient structure is a testament to the timeless power of history and religion. It's more than just a towering monument. It's a silent storyteller bearing witness to countless papal blessings and gatherings over the centuries. The stunning colonnades that envelop the square are another architectural marvel, representing the welcoming arms of the church reaching out to the world. The awe-inspiring beauty and the profound sense of unity that one feels in St. Peter's Square is unparalleled. St. Peter's Square, a symbol of unity and faith, is truly a sight to behold. Coming in at number four are the Vatican Museums. A treasure trove of art and historical artifacts, these museums are a testament to the cultural and historical influence of the church. As you step inside, you're swept into a world spanning centuries where each piece tells its own unique story. From the ancient sculptures of the Gregorian Egyptian Museum to the intricate tapestries of the Gallery of Tapestries, the Vatican Museum's house masterpieces from every era. Each room, each corner is an art lover's delight, brimming with works that have shaped our understanding of civilization. The museums are not just a collection of art, they are a narrative of humanity's creative spirit. They exemplify the church's role in preserving and promoting art, providing insights into various periods of history, culture, and religion. The Vatican Museums, a journey through art and history, are a must visit for any art enthusiast. At number three, we have the Apostolic Palace. This isn't just a building, folks, it's a symbol of grandeur, a beacon of the Catholic Church and the official residence of the Pope. Nestled in the heart of Vatican City, the Apostolic Palace is a magnificent blend of Renaissance and Baroque architectural styles, speaking volumes of its historical significance. But it's not all about the exterior, Step inside and you'll find yourself surrounded by the stunning artistry that adorns the walls and ceilings. From frescoes by Michelangelo and Raphael to intricate tapestries and sculptures, every corner of this palace is a testament to the church's patronage of the arts. And it's not just about the art either. As the Pope's residence, the Apostolic Palace holds a special place in the Catholic world. It's here that the Pope delivers his weekly Angelus Prayer making it a hub of spiritual activity. The Apostolic Palace, a symbol of the papacy's power and influence, is a testament to the church's rich history. The runner-up on our list is none other than St. Peter's Basilica. This monumental structure is not only one of the largest Catholic churches worldwide, but it also holds an irreplaceable spot in the hearts of the faithful. Its importance goes beyond the confines of religion extending into the realms of art and architecture. St. Peter's Basilica is a testament to the unparalleled genius of Renaissance masters. Its stunning facade, designed by Moderno, is an awe-inspiring spectacle that leaves visitors spellbound. Inside, the basilica unfolds like a treasure trove of art. From Michelangelo's Pieta to Bernini's Baldacin, every corner narrates a tale of artistic brilliance, but the basilica's significance isn't confined to its artistic treasures. It's the symbolic heart of the Catholic Church where the Pope delivers his messages to the world. It's a beacon of faith 
and a monument to the enduring power of spiritual belief. St. Peter's Basilica, a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture, is a must-see for any visitor to the Vatican. And finally, at number one, we have the Vatican City itself. This isn't just a city, it's an entire world within 44 hectares, making it the smallest independent state on the planet. Yet, within this minuscule nation, you'll find a treasure trove of history, culture, and stunning architecture that dates back to the Renaissance period. Every corner of this city-state tells a story. From the awe-inspiring St. Peter's Basilica, the grandeur of the Vatican Museums, to the tranquil Vatican Gardens, the Vatican City is a testament to human creativity and divine inspiration. It's a place where art, religion, and history intertwine creating a rich tapestry of cultural heritage. Whether you're a history buff, an art lover, or a spiritual seeker, the Vatican City has something to offer. Its significance extends beyond its physical boundaries, influencing the world culturally, politically, and spiritually. The Vatican City, a city-state brimming with history and culture, is without a doubt the number one must-see when visiting the Vatican. And there you have it, folks, the top 10 must-see places in the Vatican. We've journeyed through the Vatican necropolis, strolled the Vatican Gardens, uncovered the Vatican Library, marveled at the Raphael Rooms and Sistine Chapel, walked St. Peter's Square, explored the Vatican Museums, admired the Apostolic Palace, and stood in awe of St. Peter's Basilica, and of course, the Vatican City itself. Each place is a treasure trove of history and art waiting for your visit. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Vatican. Remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Until next time,